Did you miss me? It is me. I'm back, Mikey Pipes. I got Godzilla behind me. And we are working on this. This is a backflow prevention device. It prevents cross-contamination of water. It is also very annoying, very annoying. It's annoying for a couple of reasons. Number one, in order to be certified to test this in New York State, you must sit in a classroom for 40 hours and then take a test, a written and a practical test, which of course Mikey Pipes passed a long time ago. But what's even more annoying is that every three years, you go in for renewal. And in New York State, that three-year renewal requires you to sit in a classroom again, but fortunately, just for eight hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> just for eight hours. For the privilege and the right to test this kind of device or this kind of device, right? This is a double check valve. It does not have a relief valve underneath. This is called a reduced pressure zone. It has a relief valve underneath. And as you can see, this one has a problem because it's leaking water, but I'm not here to test that one. And also, does this one have one? Yes, it does right here. This is also a reduced pressure zone, RPZ. This is a big boy, this is a two inch reduced pressure zone. And also, as you can tell, that one is also leaking water. <laughs> Which means either it's sensing a reverse flow where water is trying to be sucked out of the building and back to the public water supply, or it's just needs major overhaul, mm -hmm. right? And when these things open, let me tell you something. I don't know if this four inch is enough <laughs> to catch <laughs> all that, but it's a lot of water. Sprinkler got um, fire suppression system. This is for PetSmart. This is for Men's Warehouse. We're not touching this at all, right? Look at our warehouse where we're at right now in Valley Street and Great Anchors. By the way, if you live in the area, I'm going to give a huge unsponsored shout out to the liquor and wine warehouse at the Green Acres Mall. The cheapest liquor that you'll find. If, whether you drink, you know, Tito's or you're drinking Beluga, you know, Diamond, Gold. Or if you drink Grey Goose or Glenlivet 25. They got it all. And if you've got around three grand to spend, they got a bottle of Macallan 25. <laughs> anyway, let's get this thing started to, uh, um, let's get this bad boy tested and make sure we're good. Here's my backflow form, right? Provided by the home uh, the customer. If they didn't have one, I would use my own uh, New York State uh, form that you can download and we're gonna fill this out. So the first things we're gonna do when we test this, make note of direction of flow. So direction of flow comes up from there, goes across, goes through the meter, and then through the backflow double check valve, right? So to permit direction of flow, we're going from left to right. But before that, we're gonna make sure that there's no like illegal tappings before this on the, on the line. So we're going to the right, nothing's there, through the meter, back, around, there's no like hose bib or, or faucet there, right? Because if you had that, you need to make note of it and the device would fail inspection because you can't have anything before this that could result in someone, you know, bypassing this and potentially bringing in a cross contamination. Now you may ask, what is a cross contamination? Well, let's say the water main breaks and this piping is all pressurized, right? It is possible that the toilet water could be sucked into the public water supply. Or let's say there's a, a mop sink and the hose on the faucet of the mop sink is shoved into a bucket, a mop bucket with chemicals in there, right? And it's left open, right? Like let's think of the worst case scenario of everything. It's left open and, or maybe it's just not fully tight and you lose pressure somewhere else and it's gonna suck up that mop water and contaminate the public water supply. All right, oh, is correct. All right, so Godzilla has the directions. We're gonna do this step by step. We have number one, determine direction of flow, right? Number two, close shut off valve number two to stop flow downstream. This is shut off valve number one. This is shut off valve number two. So we're gonna do that right now. Now she's closed, right? Step number three, blow off test cocks, cocks, 
two, three, and four. All right? This is test cock number one, test cock number two, three, and four, so on and so forth. All right, we'll take those little plugs off. All right, we'll put them off to the side. Let's put them right there. I'm gonna take a little flat screwdriver, which we have in our Watts TK9A backflow device uh, thing. I'll link in the description box down below. If you yep. feel so inclined to drop 1,500 bucks on one of those, please support my guitar and buy it on Amazon. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna blow this off a little bit. A little bit too much. That's good. That's right there. There you go. Just so we can clear off any debris that's in there because we don't want it messed up, messing up in our backflow uh, TK9. Right. Number four, connect high pressure hose to test cock number three. Open test cock number three. First, I'm gonna close all these. All right. This is A, valve A, valve B, valve C. High pressure hose, which is the yellow one. See, it says it right there. This is like, you know, you know, even a child can get this. And we're gonna connect this to test cock number three, which is right there. Mikey Pipes does it again. Look at that. Now, we're gonna just stick those in there for now. Now it's telling me to open test cock number three, which is like that. Next. Bleed high pressure hose. Bleed high pressure hose, open control valves A and B on test kit, close control valve B. So I am gonna open A and B to bleed the air out of that, see? And show you, she's going down there, okay? And now we're gonna close B. Needle. All right, where is it? Leave control valve A open. All right. Note line pressure gauge PSIG. I have a separate device to check for line pressure, so we're not gonna worry about that. Close shutter valve number one. Needle, which is this one, should stay pegged on the high side. If it drops, shutter valve number two is faulty stop. Okay. So we're gonna close shutter valve number one, like that and it stays pegged on the high side. Now, slowly open control valve B until needle drops to two PSID, and then close B. So we're gonna slowly open B, which is right there, and wait for it to drop to right around two PSI. You wanna do this very slowly, by the way. All right, all right, getting there, getting there, getting there, a little bit more, a little bit more. We're right at two PSID. Next. Open test cock number two. Check valve should hold at least one PSID to pass. So this is test cock number two. We're gonna open this and watch that. And she did not drop at all, as you can see, she passed. Now, we're gonna close these up. We're gonna close that as well. Oh, don't wanna lose these little black cock, black cock, no, cock caps. Cock caps. And they're black. We don't wanna lose the black cock caps. Well, I think I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna open up uh, shutter valve number one to repressurize the system. We're gonna take high pressure hose off of test cock number three and put it on test cock number four, all right? Now, we're gonna have to bleed pressure through test cock number four. So we're gonna open up test cock number four like that and let me close that. Let's open this and open B. Bleed the air through high pressure hose. All right, good. We close it. Closing B, leaving A open. Now we're gonna close check uh, shutter valve number one. Needle should stay pegged on the high side. And now we're gonna open Oh, am I doing something wrong here? Close A, anything about close A? Close B, test valve number two, close B, nothing about close A. Now we're gonna open test cock number three up and needle up, oh, hold on. We need to lower our needle to two PSID. So let's lower that down slowly. See, Mikey Pipes just almost messed up, right about. 
there. Now we're going to open test cock number three. And needle should stay above one PSID, which it did. So this device passed testing. We're going to close this one. We're going to close this one. All right, we're going to repressurize the double check valve and now restore water to the building by opening shut off valve number two. We're going to take the hose off, a high pressure hose off of there. We're going to stick this in there for right now. And now, very important, it's winter outside. We're going to open up C, open up B, and make sure this thing drains very well. All right? And just for, for, house, for housekeeping, I'm going to blow through this. Good. And that is how you test a double check valve. If you found this informative or even entertaining, don't be afraid to show your love or your criticism to Mikey Pipes and Godzilla. Because we just hit 10,000 subscribers and we're on our way to the moon in a rocket ship. A gigantic rocket ship. The best rocket ship. It's called Mikey Pipes Rocket Ship. And maybe, just maybe, Elon Musk will sponsor this channel. That's yeah, funny. that's how you get it done, all right? Show Mikey Pipes the love, show Godzilla some support as well. Sir. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna throw it out there right now. If we hit 50,000 subscribers by, let's get a realistic expectation, by April Fitna, May 1st, I will give away something amazing. I will give away, what do you think? I will give away a Milwaukee M18 Pro Press. What? That's right. That's right. I said it right now. Today is February 15th. I am in a sprinkler control room at the Green Acres Mall. And I'm telling you this right now. If Mikey Pipes has 50,000 subscribers by May 1st, you're getting a $3,000 prize. Shit. Can That's... I sign up? Hmm? I said, can I sign up? Of course. Oh, let's get of it. Of course. <laughs> Why not? I don't discriminate about borders either. But you may have to pay duty on it, though. All right? So show Mikey Pipes the love. Mikey Pipes will show you love. 50,000 subscribers. May 1st. Let's make it happen, guys. Okay.